What is up guys, Gaming Can Be Fun here. I'm going to show you how to unlock all the suits in the new Spider-Man game that released on September 7th, 2018. I'm going to show you how to unlock the Advanced Suit, the Classic Suit Damaged, the Classic Suit Repaired, the Now Suit, I do not know how to pronounce that word, the Scarlet Spider Suit, the Spider Armor Mark II Suit, the Secret War Suit, the Stark suit, the negative suit, the electrically insulated suit, the spider punk suit, the wrestler suit, the fear itself suit, the stealth big time suit, the spider armor mark three suit, the spider man 2099 black suit, the iron spider suit, the velocity suit, the Spider Armor Mark IV Suit The Spirit Spider Suit The Spider-Man 2099 White Suit The Vintage Comic Book Suit The Last Stand Suit The Homemade Suit The Anti-Oc Suit The Dark Suit And last but not least, the Undies so, keep watching to find out how to unlock all of these. The classic suit damaged is, well, the suit you're going to be starting out with in the game. Yeah, looks all junky and stuff. Anyways, after about one to three missions, give or take a few, you'll unlock this one. Much better, right? Oh, I thought so. I love the white looking stuff on his suit. Wait, that came out wrong. All right, now starting at classic suit repaired, going from the left to the right. Bam, 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 Bam! All of those I just showed. Well, I didn't really show, I just highlighted them all in the middle if you didn't see the selection icon moving on and over again. But anyways, all of those outfits will be unlocked by just leveling up Spider-Man. Yep, that easy. Level him up to level 45 and you will have this one, 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 and this one all unlocked. The majority of them will be unlocked by just leveling him up to level 45. Alrighty then, moving on here. Now if you pre-ordered the game, you will have Spider Punk, Iron Spider, and the Velocity Suit, all three of those unlocked as soon as you start the game. You don't have to level up Spider-Man to unlock those ahead of time if you pre-ordered it. But if you didn't pre-order it, then you'll just have to level up Spider-Man to unlock them. Not really a big deal for most because, well, if you're going to be leveling up Spider-Man anyway to unlock most of them. So it, I'm sure that's not going to bother most people. In the very, very, very beginning of the game, you'll have to activate towers, if you will to access well most of your maps contents you know to find all your missions to find all the icons visible and hidden things you got to find it's really simple just play the game and you'll see what i mean after you activate all the towers the first thing that will pop up and the game will tell you to find are backpacks this suit is unlocked by just finding and grabbing all of the backpacks in all of the districts in the whole map. It's just the map is divided into nine sections, aka nine districts. So you get, you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, that's what I did when I first played this game. As soon as I activated the towers and as soon as it said, find all the backpacks, there's only 50 or 55 somewhere around there. And that's really not that bad considering, you know, this is an open world game. But that's what I I did as soon as I activate I'm repeating myself now I just found all the backpacks and just knocked them all out at once that is exactly what I did 
I'm being dead serious. As soon as I activated all the towers in the very, very, very beginning of the game, I just activated the rest of them in each of the districts. Then it showed every single backpack location. I just went to every single one of them and grabbed them all up before I even continued playing the game. Yep, that's exactly what I did. And that's how I unlocked the homemade suit. Now this one is unlocked by just completing story mode. Yep, that easy, I'm being dead serious. All the main missions pretty much, just do all the main missions until the game is done, you see the game credits and all that fun stuff and wait till all the cutscenes are done and yada 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 and it'll go back to the game and then this will be unlocked. See, easy breezy, easy as pie. That's probably the easiest one to unlock, honestly. Well. Maybe. I guess it depends on how high of a level you are and what difficulty you selected when you played the game. On how long it's going to take you to complete it without dying so much and running into problems. Anyways, moving on here. This suit, the dark suit, is unlocked by just doing all of Black Cat's tasks. Which is only one task. Every single Black Cat icon you go to in the map. Literally. Every single black cat icon you go to is just a little camera that's set up on a, a building and then you have to find her black cat stuffed animal hidden somewhere. Sometimes it could be in store windows or doorways or building ledges. You get the general idea. Anyways, just do all the black cat icons on the map. Every single one of them, find all of her black cat stuffed animals that she lays out for you. And Spider-Man tracks her down and finds where she's located. That's not where she's at, but that's where her hideout is. And he goes there, and for some odd reason, Black Cat gives Spider-Man this suit. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for to unlock this sexy outfit here. Well... No homo. Anyways, wouldn't you just love to go around streaking? That'd be so fun. Anyways, let me go ahead and explain to you how to unlock this. This suit is a little daunting, if you will, to unlock. And what I mean by daunting is you have to grind. And what I mean by grind is, you ready for it? You'll have to, are you ready for it? Are you ready? I hope you're ready. You'll have to do everything in the game, what I mean by everything. You'll have to get all the backpacks, do all the side missions, take pictures of all the landmarks, do all the fist kydas, do all the demon warehouses, do all the sable outposts, do all the prisoner camps, do all the research stations, do all the black cat stakeouts, do all the pigeons. Wait, that came out wrong. Anyways, do all the taskmaster challenges and do all of the crimes, the thug crimes, the demon crimes, the prisoner crimes, the stable crimes. Then finish the game off by completing the main story. After the credits roll and the secret cutscenes and it goes right back to the game again, it will be unlocked and shown. Yes, that is right. You'll have to do everything, everything extra, all the extra stuff. Now, the fascinating and cool thing about this is the fact that, for example, with the Taskmaster challenges, you'll notice that there are bronze medals, silver medals, and gold medals that you'll have to do per challenge. Now, the cool thing about this is that you do not have to get the gold medal. You just have to complete the challenge. Just get a medal, period. This is for those that just want to grind and just complete everything and not have to worry about doing everything perfect just to unlock the undies suit. Well, it's not really a suit, but you get what I'm trying to say. When it comes to Taskmaster challenges and anything that asks you to get the top score, you do not need to get the top score. You just have to complete it and get one of the medals. Not that hard. It really ain't. It really isn't. Just complete it and the amount of time it gives you and you should get at least a bronze. Easy as hell. And you have to do all the extra stuff in all the districts. Now there's one more thing I also want to mention. As far as the crimes go, the crimes are actually very, very, very easy to do. You do not have to go to specific locations in each district to do the crimes. If you're like me and you waited to do all of the extra red yield signed crimes for last, then you'll be pleased to know that they'll usually pop up every 5 to 15 seconds between doing each one of them. I'm being dead serious, they pop up fairly quickly, and you can use this method to do all of the crimes fairly quickly as well. So what I mean by that is, once you do one crime, you can literally wait 
five to fifteen seconds and keep pressing the R3 button. And Spider-Man usually does this to you know scan for enemies and highlight them and stuff like that. Well, you can do this to also scan for crimes in the area, and it'll pop up a big red yield sign while you're swinging through the neighborhood and this is very 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 useful because well you don't have to wait on your cb radio that you're listening to to know that there's a crime around you know because sometimes when you swing around the neighborhood they'll say shots fired at this yada 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 and cops are being held hostage yacht whatever and then it'll pop up on your screen where to go you don't have to wait on all that just do one of the crimes that pop up as soon as you beat it wait about five to ten seconds then swing as fast as you can away from the area then keep pressing r3 over and over and over again i would say every two or three seconds and eventually another red exclamation point will pop up you do not have to wait that long for the next crime to pop up in the area very 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 awesome now i also suggest to keep bringing up the map over and over and over, and over again while you're doing this because sometimes you might have an accidental tendency to swing out of the district you're trying to complete you know because for example let's say you have you know only four out of five demon crimes and you need one more well the only way to do that one demon crime is to stay in that district to complete that district because you have to get 100 percent completion in each district to unlock the undies so keep popping up the map over and over and over again if your arrows may be facing up and you're reaching maybe the top outer rim of the district then get back out of the map turn completely around and then go back the other way just stay in that district if you have to bring up the map a thousand times during this then do so until the next crime pops up and i'm telling you these crimes will pop up fairly quickly as long as you do my method like i'm telling you to do do one crime wait about five to ten seconds or five to fifteen seconds whatever I, I would just stay five to ten seconds and then keep pressing r3 over and over and over again and eventually another one will pop up and then go to it complete it keep doing that over and over and over again while staying in the district and eventually you do all the crimes you do not have to do the bonus objectives at all whatsoever one more thing i want to mention before i end this video i want to let you all know that just because you unlock all the suits does not mean you can immediately wear them as you unlock them let me explain a lot of these suits are pretty much the same concept as your upgrades and your gadgets leveling up and stuff like that. What I mean by that is this game goes by tokens and to get these tokens you have to do all the extra stuff that you would do to get the undies outfit anyway. You know all the extra stuff. Example the taskmaster challenges. These challenges will allow you to get the challenge tokens. Okay. And the Taskmaster won't even pop up at least till midway through the game. So your game completion would at least have to be a minimum of 30 to 50% before eventually the Taskmaster will actually call Spider-Man and let him know, hey, I got challenges for you, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, a lot of these tokens aren't able to be, well, received. You, know, you can't actually go out and go get them until you progress to the story and eventually they'll pop up. You got different bases, like the Sable bases, you got Demon bases, you get what I'm trying to say. All the extra stuff that you'd normally do, you'll get different types of coins for. And it's usually indicated on the bottom left hand corner of the screen when you bring up your map screen with the touchpad by pressing it down and stuff like that. What you'd normally do to bring up the map. You got your research tokens, you got your landmark tokens, you got your base tokens. You know your crime tokens challenge tokens and your backpacks and stuff that's pretty much, well that's pretty much all of them but you get what i'm trying to say so get as many of those as you can as far as the challenge tokens goes like i said to unlock the undies outfit you do not necessarily have to have a gold medal in every single challenge just try your best to get the gold but it is not necessary the only time it ever be necessary is if you've already used a lot of the challenge tokens and you're falling short then you'd have to re go back into those challenges again to get the extra one or two you know because bronze will give you one challenge token silver will give you two and gold will give you three and that's pretty much the purchase system of the game and that's how you would actually literally unlock 
the suit. You'll unlock all the suits, how I explain it to you, but you'll actually be able to use them, aka wear them, and use powers each individual suit gives you by, well, purchasing them with the tokens and stuff like that. So, that is how you unlock all the suits in Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like the video if you found it very, very helpful, awesome, wicked, amazing. See what I did there? You know, like, amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> Anyways, make sure to share the video as well. Help me out, guys. Help me out. Talk to you guys later. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.